Sorry. What did you say? Gino who? Salito. Gino Salito. New York crime family, big in the 90s. So were wine coolers. I realize when you've been down the aisle as many times as we have, all those ceremonies start blending together. I mean, really, what is this, your sixth? Let's see, there was Larry Ashton, Mitch Williams, Paul Hornsby, and... Oh, wait, of course, Luke. But we did happen to share that one. Luke married me. Twice. Although only one of those marriages was, were legal, and it really seems to be in rather shaky ground at the moment. Again, what's your point? Well, of all your former husbands, Gina must hold a very special place in your heart. He is, after all, the only one of your husbands to drop dead on your wedding night. Now, <laughs> I would be very impressed, except I think that credit goes to the escort that you hired to take your place in the marriage bed. Why don't you get your facts straight? I faked measles on my wedding night. Oh, Tracy, really? You couldn't do better than that? I did not kill Gino Salito on my wedding night or any other night he died of natural causes. Still, making it your shortest marriage to date and yet your most lucrative. You did pretty well for yourself as Gino's widow, didn't you? Walked away with hundreds of millions of dollars and his family was none the wiser. What business is it of yours? Knowledge is power. Only if you have proof. You have no proof. Sure about that? <laughs> your threats are as empty as your head. Don't let the door hit you on the butt. Oh, I wouldn't dream of leaving. Fun is just beginning. I warned Daddy that you were only looking for a handout. It would serve him right if you robbed him blind. He is making as big a fool of himself as Alan did. What was it again that grandfather disinherited you? Stop calling him that! 1996. That's right, you took Dylan, headed to the city, started over again in Soho, and found somebody made a very nice living doing anything and everything illegal, which afforded you and Dylan quite a nice lifestyle for a while. Hmm. And to think you turned down your nose at me for getting involved with Lorenzo. Guess we aren't so different after all. The difference is I married a mobster. You just got knocked up by one. And obviously you've run through the little brat's inheritance and think you're going to dip into mine? Not going to happen. So crawl back into the gutter you came out of. Well, I could survive the gutter, Tracy, but you, well, you certainly couldn't. And after the truth comes out, that's exactly where you're going to end up. What truth is that? How you convinced Edward to welcome you back and what you did to his precious company afterwards. It's amazing how easily you stepped in to take over the Salido family business after Gino's sudden demise. Ooh, that godmother role must have been one you really relished. That is, until you were forced out with your tail between your legs. But you were the last laugh, didn't you, Tracy? He'll have to be more specific. Little did his family, or Gino's associates, know that you skimmed hundreds of millions of dollars off his accounts during your very short reign. And then what? Bought a dozen or so diversified companies and merged them into ELQ? Just in time to bring the family business back from the brink. Hmm. I wonder what Edward would think if he knew that ELQ was given a clean slate with dirty money. You can whisper in my father's ear all you want, but he's a smart man. He's going to see this for what it is. Larceny? No, your latest attempt at extortion. Let's not forget about Gino's children, shall we? How do you think Carla would feel if she knew her evil stepmother was laundering what was rightfully hers? Or Gino Jr., to say the least. And let's not forget about the apple of Daddy's eye, little Gina. My guess is they'd have a very compelling case that ELQ was all theirs. How is it that you think you know all this? Friends in common. So you're still hanging out with hoods and thieves? One could argue I'm the company of one right now. <laughs> it's just sour grapes. Carla never wanted me to marry her father and the two other little whiny ones. They're a lot like you. Just looking for a handout. Well, Gino Jr.'s not so little anymore. No, he's all grown up. How much is this information going to cost me? 
I'm not in it for the money. <laughs> now I know you're lying. You're always in it for money. Sorry, Tracy. My silence isn't for sale. I'm just after the truth. Come on, Tracy. You know the idea that any action, whether it be good or bad, comes back to you. Oh, what do you want, Sky? I'm just pointing out that every action has consequences. And I'm thinking back to the time when I first came into town and you were trying to drive me out of the family. Because you're not family, you're a parasite. Edward considers me family, so did Alan. He went so far as to adopt me. Alan was looking for a suitable heir because he'd been saddled with a drunk and a hitman. But you are not the future of this family. In fact, now that I think of it, you're nothing. You act like you're so much better than everyone else. Better than Jason, certainly better than Sonny. But in reality, you're worse than all of them. At least Sonny and Jason own up to what they do, the people they are, but you. Well, if the truth ever came out, everyone would finally see you for what you really are. And all it would take is one little phone call to the SEC. You'd never do that to my father. Oh, what, now you think I have a conscience? Before, you were convinced that I was out to get every last dime from the family. Is the jury still out on that one? All I wanted was a home. A family. You, you were a blood-sucking mercenary out to take the Salido family for all they're worth. You don't know anything about me. <sighs> You'd be surprised. What are you gonna do? Wouldn't you like to know? Sweetie, Mommy misses you so much. I swear we're gonna see each other very soon. Of course I promise. Mommy's almost done with the big job that she's working on right now, and when I come home, I'm gonna have a big surprise for you. Well, I can't tell you, or else it won't be a surprise, will it? Look, I have to go. Be a good girl for Grandma Ray. I love you. Oh, such a lovely lady with such a lovely smile. Well, yeah, making Tracy twitch always makes me smile. <laughs> no, I take it our little project is progressing well. Just the mention of Gino Salito's name made Tracy break out into a cold sweat. Gino had that effect on people. Not me, but others. It's a shame we fell out of grace with each other. Our families together could have been quite a force. Yes, you would have. So, how is it that you kept up with waterfront politics? Well, I like to know all the players, and it just so happens that Lorenzo kept quite a dossier on all of you. Too bad he didn't keep a better eye on his assets. Must have been a hell of a shock when after all his cash. Well, they were lying in wait, just waiting for me to try to get access. I barely made it out of the country with my life, my daughter, and a handful of files. <laughs> Swiss bank account's got to be drying up. I have good survival instincts. And they told me to go over those discs with a fine tooth comb. Alcazar, a thorough man. To say the least. The notations about Tracy in the margins of the Slito family's financial documents took my breath away. I knew Gino's family always suspected Tracy of making off with a truckload of cash. And I knew if I could prove it, they'd be grateful. Maybe even agree to some mutually beneficial union. I looked for years, but I could never find the paper trail. Then you come along and piece the whole thing together. Well, being a shareholder, you'll keep certain access to records you were never able to get. Believe me, I've been trying. Oh, but there were notations about that, too, your search. Like I said, he was thorough. Makes me wonder why I never tried to broker something with the brothers. God rest their souls. Well, it probably wouldn't have worked. Lorenzo preferred to operate on his own. Wolf. Know all about that. But there are times when you... you gotta go to people for assistance. I'm always happy to help. I'm sure you are. I heard all about you helping yourself to Gino Jr. Listen, if you have problems with my back... Well, not at all. I like a woman who plays to her strengths. Remember that. You aren't the only person interested in what I have to offer. The Salinos would not have sent you emeralds. A trip to the bottom of the nearest channel? Definitely. But me? I really appreciate beauty. 
You and your daughter won't want for a damn thing for the rest of your lives. For which I'm more than grateful. But the satisfaction of getting one over on Tracy is almost worth more than the money. But not quite. 